This, this might change the spray painting game forever. Hi guys, my name is Doke and today I am testing this supposedly amazing spray painting tool from Australian brand Nightquill. Long story short, this tool should make spray painting experience more comfortable and more controllable. You apply it to a spray can and suddenly this should be better than this. I have already tested some products that were promising to make the old ways of using things better. So I am kind of kind of skeptical. There are three kinds of this tool. Soft, medium and hard touch. And all of them cost $9. The difference between them is that soft touch should be great for details. And on the other side, hard touch should be good for coverage of a bigger areas. And medium, medium is somewhere in the middle. Alrighty, let's test it out. Whoa, 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 before that, quick word from the sponsor of today's video. Christmas are coming and you, you don't have a gift for your loved ones, right? What if you actually give them something meaningful? Highland titles might help you with that. Let me explain how it works. Highland titles give you an opportunity to buy a piece of Scottish land, which makes you a lord or a lady. Look, I am I'm Lord Doak now. As you can see, you get a certificate of your lordshipness. But to be honest, I don't find this all that important. What matters from my point of view is that Highland Titles manages this land as a natural reserve. They preserve this land at multiple locations. Locations that you can actually visit. Some of them are very popular tourist spots. I really like this concept and if you like it too and you want to become a lord or a lady or you want to make a lord out of your father or your friend, go into the description below. You're gonna find all the important information over there. The prices start from $36. And I also have a discount code for you right here. You're welcome. Thanks a lot to Highland Titles for sponsoring of this video and taking care of the natural reserves. And let's get back to the video. Alrighty, let's see. I just want to mention that I am not paid to test this product. I actually got recommendation from one of you. And people from Nightquill were that kind that they sent me samples all the way from Australia. Alright, I'm gonna probably start with medium touch. That should be the all-around solution, right? The application to a can is very easy. You just put it like this and you... Boom. That's it. You might be asking, why? Why the hell would I need this? Well, if you ever tried spray painting, it's pretty pretty hard to press the cap for longer periods of time. There are actually people who have serious medical problems because of this and they are not able to spray paint anymore. And sometimes it's pretty hard to get the right amount of control with a classic cap. I'm very curious right now. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, so... My finger is sitting a little bit in the back, which feels okay, I guess. Hmm, okay. First impression. Feels weird that my, my finger is all the way back. Actually, it doesn't feel comfortable for me. Well, what can I say? It works. And I see no reason why it should stop working. The design looks solid. Let's try soft touch. I'm curious about that. Okay. So this, this should be softer. This is very impressive because it's very controllable. Look at these lines. I'm gonna try to do something similar with a normal cap. Mm. 
it's definitely possible, but see, drips. Here, um, a bit more dust, no drips. Huh. Okay, let's try to fill. Let's try the hard touch. Honestly, I don't feel much difference between the hard touch, medium touch and the soft touch, but I love it. You need a lot less strength to do this actually. Let's try it with my left hand. It's super controllable. Your wrong hand is not that strong, but check it out. Hmm. Okay, so what I have here now is a low pressure can with soft touch and skinny cap and high pressure can with a fat cap and hard touch. First problems in the paradise. What's wrong? Why don't you stick there? Okay, I have to admit that I'm impressed because it works very well. I didn't notice any, any serious issue and well, this should be a healthier way of spray painting, right? But actually, I feel like I feel more pain in my hand, but I think the problem is that my hand is just adapted to the classic grip and if I use this for a... for some time it's gonna adjust but the fact that you need to use less power is definitely definitely a good thing anyways are the benefits worth it i mean this thing costs nine dollars which is not a problem it's a it's a reasonable price and i think it's gonna last for a, for a very long time but what i have in my mind is this is the situation when i have about 10 cans with 10 caps on them and I'm, I'm just using all of them. In that case, I would need a lot of these. Or I would need to constantly switch. Which is doable, but it slows you down. Hmm. The only way to resolve this is to paint something serious. And test this tool in a classic painting situation. Only then, I'll be able to give you the conclusion. And by the way, guys, I have a little challenge for you. Let me know in the comments below the exact time when you find out what am I actually painting. Or at least who am I painting, okay? The temperatures got low and I have fat, thick, chubby winter gloves. And it's always a pain in the ass to paint with these gloves because you don't have that feeling. But this solves that problem. I, I don't mind the gloves right now. If I was looking for some crucial benefits, this is one of them. In harsh temperatures with gloves, this works perfectly. Also, I've done quite a lot. So far, absolutely no problem. All right, chaos done. Right now, let's fill it up. I have all three. Very nice, very comfortable. Quill, I'm gonna call this tool quill. So, <laughs> I'm painting with all three kinds of this quill and I have to say that I prefer the soft and the medium one. The hard one, I mean, it's fine, but I'm working on a pretty small surface and for some reason that I can't really name, maybe because of the hardness, the medium one and the soft one, they just feel better. But overall, in comparison with a classic cap, I don't know, I'm starting to have a feeling that, yes, this is better. I press really softly and the color just comes out and it just works. 
I don't feel any pain in my hand but I'm not the best person to, to tell you about this because I don't really have problems with uh, wrist pain. I have a neck pain but not a problem in my wrist or hand. As I continue with the process I notice few things. One of which is a problem. When you take an older spray can with some color on it, the tool doesn't fit perfectly and sometimes it just it just has problems to stick to the can. So it's good when you use this from brand new can. And also the switching of colors. I mean, it's it's fairly easy to put the tool from one can to another, but especially when you switch for only a small portion of the painting, it's just not necessary, you know? It's easy to do it, but when you need to do it 20 times in an hour, it gets annoying. But for sure you can just solve this by buying more of this quill. For a little while, I tried to put the quill away and paint with ordinary caps, so I can feel the difference. I immediately felt that I need to use more pressure. And this time I had to get used to a classic cap. And with the chubby glove, it was, it was just... I had less, less of a feeling. I mean, it was not a big deal, but... I started to feel the benefits and then I put my glove away and it got a little bit better with the classic cap. This is getting very interesting. And boom! It's another day and we continue. Alrighty, everything is filled with sharp edges. Right now, let's make some of them softer. I kind of like it this way. I want to lead your attention to the cap and to the eyes and nose. You know, this part is not all that important. That's why I'm gonna make it softer. And the gloves are not as important as well. guys i hope that all of you already know what i have painted what scene from what movie if you don't help each other in the comments below and let me give you my final thoughts on the night quill i have to say that i'm impressed because this tool worked during the whole process sometimes because of some extra color on the cans it popped from the can but it was not like annoying or something but then there is a changing of cans right as i was getting to the end of the process you know i was constantly changing colors and i have to admit that i just didn't use the night quill because it was you know if you do like 
you really don't need extra tool for that. Also, I didn't feel like I have drastically more control over the can, but I liked it. I like Night Quill. And, and from now on, I think that I'm gonna have this in my backpack because especially when you cover big spaces, it's nice. Also, if you are up on a ladder in a difficult uh, position, it's easier to press this than the classic cap. So yeah, I give Night Quill thump up. And I highly recommend you to try this tool. Maybe it won't be for you, but I'm sure that there are people out there with wrist pain or any other issue and this tool might help you. I'm not promising that it will, but it might. Anyways, guys, one last thing I need to show you the artwork. And as always, please let me know in the comments below what you think about it. I would say that I am semi-satisfied. I like it, but not that much. But I like it. <laughs> what about you? If you like it, thumb up would be awesome as always. And this is it. <laughs>I hope that all were little dumb. This is it. Uh, and the, 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 yeah.